So when my five-year-old son asked me, what did you want to be when you grew up? I was immediately shifted to a time in middle school when teachers were asked this very same daring question. You know, ever since I was eight years old, I've always wanted to grow up to become a cigarette because it was the only thing that my father could never abandon. For as long as I can remember, I've always felt like a man constantly in reverse, like the backwash of a dream, like karma's favorite crash test dummy constantly begging someone for all the love that they've already given me. See, I started drinking and being with women in order to fill up all of the potholes inside of my spirit, but drinking more absolute only made me more obsolete. Now, I'm just a soul made out of 50% recycled plastic that hugs so tight because it makes pretending that letting go is never an option easier. An assembly of a man that loves like a runaway locomotive. My tears still tending to the broken Lazarus pieces of women buried in my collarbone as I treated having their bodies like mirrors to try and convince myself that I was beautiful when I was 13. I first started building train tracks on my stomach, some on thighs, to all the parts of me that I wish I could forget, but that only made me more of a swollen, dirty pile of remorse, a shotgun shell inside a waiting room of catastrophe with a fiendish appetite for earthquakes at the dripping enjambment of a woman. The earth shifts between my teeth and usually never returns the same misshapen planets have always tasted better to me, and there's no gravity to my will only cadence from poetry and a vulgar smile stitched to a sense of humor hiding the boy with the skin of a scarecrow because it's the only way that his corny heart can ward off the birds and the bees the only thing that my father ever passed me is this uncanny ability to hurt the people that we love the most in a split second I lost a woman that I thought I loved more than my third degree scars the very next year at a random doctor's visit I found out that I was alcohol intolerant that I've drunk so much over the years that liquor has become poisonous to my blood so my very next shot could very well be my last you know God that's a funny sense of humor took away the two things that I harbored on the most to teach me of real love and that women and liquor are not a cure to my loneliness. So what do you want to be when you grow up? You know, honestly, I've always wanted to be a pediatrician. One that helps save and heal children, starting with the one within myself. But who would have known in the 15 years it took to write this poem that I would grow up to become a pediatrician, making a stethoscope out of a microphone, writing poems out like daily prescriptions, and turning the stage into a patient room for the healing of me to start within. Because when you are on the search for the divine inside of yourself, you're often led to the harsh realization that you've been more Rick James than First James, who built Built in fire escapes inside of your bones for all the times that you wanted to run away from the blaze inside of yourself. But what kind of legacy will I pass on to my son? Will I give him a legacy of ash, a legacy of burnt out men? Will I give him hands like ashtrays for him to inherit the butts of my mistakes? See, I used to want to grow up to become a cigarette. Made sense because I'm a cancer, but there's no chemotherapy to my astronomy. Yet I still radiate like a sun that's able to shine, but always willing to give all of his light to save anyone's sunset, which is all but the excruciating reality. But I. Do not want to die alone, but son, you can be anything that you want. Just make sure that you do not ever become nothing but a small escape inside of a slow burning pulse, kind of like a cigarette.